Hi guys, welcome back to Excel Map. My name is Srinivas Reddy. In this video, I am going to explain how to create Power BI service free account without any work mail ID. So guys, generally if you wanted to log in Power BI service compulsory, we required any work mail ID. For example, any name at the rate any company name dot com like Srinivas Reddy at the rate xyz.com. That means if you wanted to log in into the Power BI service account compulsory, we need any company mail ID. If you are working with any company, client is going to provide the mail ID, working mail ID. But if you want to do practice for this Power BI service, we didn't get any kind of mail IDs from anywhere. For that, we are going to create a free account to access Power BI service. This free account it is available for two months okay in the two months you can do any kind of practice in the power bi service account so generally what is power bi service power bi service nothing but it is a power bi online and we call it as a cloud-based business intelligence service it is designed to help users visualize analyze and share the data in a centralized online environment by using Power BI service, we can connect it to online or on-premises data sources and we can build or publish reports and dashboards and we can collaborate through shared workspaces also. There are many advantages by using this Power BI service account. That's why we require this Power BI service. First, we'll see here, just in the Power BI desktop, we create a Power BI report. Once after creating this Power BI report, if you wanted to share with any persons or else any users, if you wanted to collaborate with anyone by using this Power BI report, uh, okay, in the Power BI desktop, it is not possible because it's a standalone application. It's not a web-based application. For that, once after creating this Power BI report, just we are going to publish this Power BI report into the Power BI service. Look at the publish. Or else it is asking in the starting itself uh, sign in into the Power BI service. Just uh, click on the publish once after saving this Power BI file. Next, it is asking the mail ID. Look at that Power BI desktop and Power BI service work better together. Sign in to enhance your collaboration and access organizational content. Uh, now it is asking to enter the mail ID, but we don't have any mail ID. For this, uh, we are going to create a Power BI service account with the mail ID. Guys, first I'm going to open any browser, any web browser. It may be Google Chrome, Mozilla or any other web browser. And just I'm pasting a URL. I'm giving this URL in the description also. Just to go there and you can copy and paste here. Just press enter. Here we are learning every step from the starting and you can create account very easily and once after giving this URL you are getting these uh, things uh, look at there okay office 365 accounts uh, will go for anything like either e3 or e5 just go for try for free after that it is asking to enter the mail ID enter your work or school email address uh, we will check if you need to create a new account to office 365 e3 so here just I'm giving some mail ID like Excel map one at the rate gmail.com then click on next. So it is saying looks like you need to create a new account continue as Excel map one at the rate gmail.com set up account and it is asking few details like first name Srinivas ready and business phone number any number you can give and company name will give excel map and select the company size i'm selecting 529 and country or region then click on next now it is doing verification for the phone number just give the phone number and click on send verification code Guys, here I got uh, OTP 190 and 192. Click on verify. Next, uh, it is asking the domain name. Already I created Excel map. That's why it is giving some number. Just it can give any domain name like Excel map HYD. You can say save so that we can understand this domain is available or not. 
then if you want you can edit it next it is asking password i'm giving simple password you have to remember this because uh, next time if you want to log in then you need to type this password next uh, click on next so while this uh, don't refresh this page while creating the account please do not refresh we need to wait for some time it is doing sign in and creating business and organizational profile see this uh, star fields are mandatory then give any address like i'm giving hyderabad okay these are all not mandatory town or city hyderabad state you can select next uh, click on save and uh, it is asking tax id or pan registration number you can give anything then click on save so friends in the projects uh, our clients are going to create this uh, power bi service account and uh, they are providing us but here we are creating this power bi free account power bi service free account uh, for practicing purpose that's why we are doing all these things uh, see here just uh, we created account your username is srinivas reddy at the rate uh, excel map hyd on microsoft.com here you got a uh, username and uh, mail id so you need to log in with this username we cannot use this mail id srinivas reddy at the rate company name dot on microsoft.com click on get started and after that give app dot power bi dot com thank you for choosing microsoft power bi so it is asking do you want to continue that same account yes continue and uh, it is asking again a phone number and all click on get started get started here we need to give the user id not mail id so username we need to enter for this account guys uh, you can see this is our power bi service free account next uh, you can click on try free this is the first step look at there start 60 day trial account start trial okay here you can find the workspaces uh, my workspace also now we'll try to publish that power bi report into the power bi service go to the power bi desktop and uh, click on publish save give the mail id continue next enter the mail id again click on next password it is asking to select the destination means workspaces right now we didn't created any workspaces that's why i'm selecting my workspace and click on select see we are publishing this power bi desktop report into the power bi service now success completed you can say got it and go to the power bi service refresh this next go to the my workspace here you can see the power bi data set and power bi report just click on the report to see the report in the power bi service guys uh, from here you can do anything from the power bi service because we got a power bi service online account that is a cloud based account so friends uh, this is how we can create this power bi service account by watching this video you can understand very easily and you can create your own power bi service uh, free account uh, thank you friends friends i hope you got some helpful information please like share and subscribe our channel